In this video, I'm going to show you how to double space your paper both within and between paragraphs and references. I'm also going to show you how to create hanging indents for references. So here I have some text. This happens to be my reference list. And right now it's typed single spaced without any hanging indents. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create double spacing both within and between paragraphs and references. This is needed for APA style. It's also needed for this psychology class for any of the reports that you type up. So if you've already typed your paper, you can select all of the text of the paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the paragraph settings to do the double space. Before I show you how to do this, I'm going to reveal the formatting. So you can see that at the end of each one of my lines, I've pressed enter, that little paragraph mark means I've pressed an enter. Okay? Now, in my particular version of Word, to get to the paragraph settings, I click on Format and then Paragraph. Your version of Word may be slightly different. This is going to open up the following settings. Right now, we're going to focus on the settings called spacing. And what we want to do is we want to change it to double. And then I also have to click this little box here to tell it that I do not want it to add space between paragraphs of the same style. If you don't click this, then it will add a space and a half between paragraphs. Okay, now you can see that automatically every single one of my lines is a double space away from the other lines and that there's not an extra space after each time I press enter. Now that we have the entire paper double spaced, we need to use hanging indents for just the references. So the first thing I'm going to do is select just the text of the references. Okay, now we're going to use that same format paragraph. It's going to open up this dialog box. And now we're going to look at the section called indentation. In this section, there's something called special. And when you click at the drop down, you get the option for a hanging. So we're going to select the hanging indent. I'm going to press OK. And now the entire reference list has been formatted to have the hanging indent where the first line, which should be starting with the author's name, is on the margin. And then any subsequent lines for that particular reference are indented. So each of these lines is indented. But it did not affect my entire paper. The rest of my paper is still lined up along the margin. It just was the references because I only selected those. So that's how you do double spacing and hanging indents, which are required for this psychology class.